back in November, I uh, uh, cut some single uh, dahlia tubers and store them in cling film. I uh, did a video if you uh, want to see how I did that. So here we are now in April, beginning of April, and I'm going to unpack all of these and get them started uh, in a tray. I did a video three weeks back of a small uh, test to see whether uh, the whole thing works uh, and it was pretty successful. Uh, there's a video on that if you'd like to have a look. But today we're going to unpack all of these I hope put them into one tray uh, this size and uh, watch them as the weeks go by and remove any that's showing shoots and uh, pot them on at that stage. Uh, I would like to give a, a thank you and an acknowledgement to Ingrid Shepherd, who is a, a subscriber who watched the uh, a single tuber test start video and made a suggestion that uh, rather than digging them all out at three weeks, which is what I did, um, she waits for shoots to appear and then removes each individual tuber at that time. Great idea and that's what I'll do uh, with these. Um, thanks again Ingrid. This is a heated bed uh, in our small polyphenol. There's about seven or eight centimetres of wet sand and a heating coil. Uh, how we did it is uh, on our blog on, on the website if anyone's interested. Um, and we have this set at 10 degrees at the moment. It can be set to, to any temperature. So it's really just to keep these plants uh, from freezing. Uh, but now that we've got uh, a plan to get these daily started, I think I'll up the temperature just a little bit so, to help them get started. There's about a hundred and There's about 180 single tubers in here. Uh, I'm hoping they all fit in this tray. Perhaps, uh, perhaps I'm overestimating a bit. First job is to sort them out. Because they, uh, each individual variety will go together and I'll try I'll try a method of keeping tabs on uh, on what's where. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 varieties here. So we'll start with the tray. This is some of our recycled peat free compost. I say recycled, it's, uh, it's come from previous pots and such like. because it's expensive stuff and uh, if I can, I'll recycle it. We're ready to unpack. So these are Doris Day, which is a uh, very bright red. So 
Now this is interesting. One of the dahlias, one of these tubers, uh, has rotted and you can see quite clearly, I hope you can see, quite clearly the uh, a dark colour, it's gone wet and it broke easily. And it also smells of, uh, of fungus. So the bad news is we've lost one tuber. The good news is that all the other tubers stored right alongside it uh, have, have survived um, completely. So there's no signs of any rot uh, in the rest of the tubers, uh, which is, I think, that really does um, show how good this method is for uh, for storing your single um, dahlia tubers. These have been in here since uh, since November, which is um, five months ago. So I'm just going to have a look at these and see whether there's any that I uh, think should be rejected straight away. That's, that's, um, it's only possible that that could put a shoot out, so I'm not. A millipede here. That's, uh, that's a friend. There we go. So this is half a tuber, neck, and this area here, although there isn't much of it, uh, I think that there are, there are eyes, or an eye at least, in, in this area. There's a little bit of superficial white um, fungal surface infection which, which is not going deep into the uh, tuber uh, and is fine. A broken neck so that will go and let's find a place for these if you do get an idea of where an eye might be then um, have it pointing upwards No chance. They can be quite tight together as long as they're not actually touching. I'm going to try and get a system together later where um, where they're demarcated with uh, some string or something. For now, I'll just do that. These are Tarahati Ruby, which is a orangey red, blousy sort of thing. You're probably thinking the same thing as me. There's no way I'm going to get all 180 dahlia tubers into this single tray. I'm 
You get the idea, each one's in its own compartment of cling film. Surprisingly difficult to unravel actually. Wow. So, inspection. We've actually got an eye here showing already. Um, which is red there, you see? So that's good. I could plant that, couldn't I, straight away because there's an eye, but uh, I'll leave it. Reject. Strangely, that's actually got some roots coming from the base of this sort of subtuber. So there's roots there. That doesn't necessarily mean we've got a viable tuber. Once again, there's a there's an eye. Great news. More roots. The roots do tend to come from the um, uh, bottom of the tuber. That's where they grow. And the tuber, neck and head. That's where the eyes will be. I'm going to reject that. Yeah. Once again, this is good news actually because we can see the eyes, two red eyes there. Hopefully, the on camera, two eyes. These are Oretti Bliss. These are the ones which we used um, three weeks ago for the test. Oretti Bliss is some, it's a nice uh, white, see some eyes already. It's a nice, um, a nice white variety. It's difficult to unravel these, more difficult than you think. Little an eye there and broke away as I unpacked it. These have got started, uh, I suppose, at the right time, really. Um, maybe a little bit late in, got an eye, an eye, an eye, an eye. Rather than plant these, there's an eye. Rather than plant these up um, into pots straight away, which I'm not ready to do, I'm just going to leave everything uh, according to the original plan, which is to put them here in the uh, put them here in this pot. Some roots, a root coming from there, and an eye. So we're guaranteed success here. 
some of them. Reject that one. Single tube, cutting single tubers uh, at the end of the growing season uh, is a great way of multiplying your uh, stock of dahlias. If you don't want to multiply your stock, then don't divide into uh, singles because these are great, these eyes are appearing. Um, don't divide into singles because uh, you would just use the, the complete tuber, uh, store it over winter, uh, get it started and get it back in the ground again. So single, single tuber uh, is just in your multiplying your stock. Well, we've not we've not done badly. We've got a few left, so I can put those into smaller trays, um, and we've got maybe. 100, 110, 120 maybe, tubers in there. And I'll think of a way of dividing them up. These are the rejects. So what I thought, Hopefully that will stay put. that work for you <laughs> so all nicely labeled and the last job the uh, second for last job is to cover them with soil Lovely jubbly. And now we're going to water them up. So they've got heat and they've got water and they've got somewhere to grow so these should now set off nicely and uh, I expect the first shoots will appear. Well they're already there aren't they? Some of the eyes are already green. Um, the shoots should appear over the next two to three weeks. That's what I'll do, I think, is a layer of bubble wrap over to prevent evaporation or really nothing else. And I'll keep 
the nice and damp. So there we have it, our single dahlia tubers are 120 of them are uh, getting on with business there so we'll check those every every week or so. A few leftovers here which I'll put into uh, smaller trays.